So allow me to explain to you the whole YouTube dislike down vote button uh, fiasco that has so many people who rely on the dislike button to be upset. So basically, YouTube recently removed the, the uh, public dislike button and also modified things so that if your channel was ever affected by uh, mass downvotes or downvote raids, they're going to reverse that damage uh, within a six month time frame. And I'm already seeing the reversal of the damage because uh, before the uh, before this change was uh, that had had actually happened, I averaged about 700 to 800 views a week, which is pitiful for my channel. Uh, at one point, I was averaging, I mean, five, seven hundred, two thousand, ten thousand views a goddamn video, and people have been long subscribed to me can can actually tell you that. But now I said they had like a sudden drop, and it's because I made certain enemies with the alt right, with certain YouTube channels like Bearing, Sargon of Akkad, you name it. Um, I start to disagree uh, when it comes to police brutality and, and those types, types of subjects are going to draw certain crowds that are geared towards certain content creators and artificially inflating them. And the way that, the, that, you, artific that you artificially in inflate uh, the, the presence of a content creator who doesn't have as much talent is that you, you knock down their, their competitors by mass downvoting old videos, right? So if you target a high volume content creator like myself, because I put out sometimes two to four videos a day. I've been doing that for months now. So I'm, I'm, I'm high volume. So if you start targeting a bunch of videos that are like, oh, I'm not gonna notice that. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna notice it. So if you do that over time, again, 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 what's gonna happen is you're gonna drag me down in the algorithm. So this is why you, if you go to my community tab on YouTube, and you see where I'm averaging now 11,000 views a week. That happened just this month, in the past 28 days. Look at the amount of views I've been having on, 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 my, on, on some of my videos and think, does that really make sense? Why, why the sudden jump? And look at some of the community posts that I put out before that where I said that's, that's specifically going to happen. I was right. I was told that, uh, you know, uh, it, it, it's, it's, it, it's a very interesting thing because these people target uh, channels like mine and then they will send... They will show up, um, the content creators themselves will show up in your in your comment sections on the sock accounts, or they'll or they'll have their fans come and comment and then gaslight the comments. As soon as you start complaining about it, oh, you're attacking your, your, your own fans. These people don't realize that we have a creator dashboard, and I can see how long you've been subscribed to my damn channel. Most of these people who show up to your to your comment section and stuff, they are not subscribers or fans of your channel. These people are, are here to simply drag down your channel on behalf of their favorite content creator or it's the content creator themselves. I can tell you certain ones. I suspect Baring, the Australian YouTuber, I suspect that he does it. I, I'm not going to say without a shadow of a doubt that he does it, but I suspect it. Because there's, there's, certain, there's certain accounts that has Baring in it that, that sounds almost like him. That acts like him, that, that that appears just suddenly at a very convenient time, and, and it's just like stuff like that where you have content creators uh, engaging in plausible deniability. You know, oh well, well, I can't control my fans. I don't know if my fans are doing that. Funny thing enough is I've never had enough fans. Where, and, and I'm on TikTok. I have eleven thousand uh, followers on TikTok. Not once have I ever heard of my fans doing that. Not on damn TikTok. Strange. My fans don't do it, but yours do. Interesting. I never heard of the amazing Lucas. I um, I barely hear about Abba and Preach. I, I I see a lot of fan bases that are huge, but I don't really see them swarming people. It's only certain fan bases who do that consistently. Now I'm not saying that that, that, that just because a fan base isn't known to do it that they 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 won't do it. But what I'm talking about is consistency. If you attack Bearing in any way, it's consistent. You will be mass flagged and. Your channel could be even fucking deleted. I've seen it happen before. Um, I've, I've seen it happen to the Atheist Gamer. His channel wasn't deleted, but he was he was dragged down the algorithm so bad that what happened to that dude was bullshit. What, what Baring did was bullshit there. I, I, I've seen cases where you have 17-year-old trans people who are just trolling. They'll, they'll get on the internet and say things like, oh, all, all, all cis people are, are, are transphobic and all men are sexist and all white people are racist. That, that kind of shit, right? Bearing and other people started attacking this person, even though they're a fucking minor in, in my country. And they thought that when their fans start mass downvoting shit, right? Start, start mass flagging shit, that YouTube wasn't going to fucking respond to that. Of course they are. What are you doing? You brought this on yourself. You did this. When you sit there and target a, a freaking content creator, that is a, a, a fucking fraction of your damn size.
Knowing that your fans do that. If you know your fans have a reputation for fucking, for fucking doing that, go after someone your size. There's plenty of them. There's channels with millions of, of, of goddamn subs, and you ain't even got them, hurt, got, got them heard of. Why doesn't Bering target them? We know why. Especially if it's somebody who has more talent than him or, or content creators like him. They're going to drag you down every goddamn time. How do you explain, right? I can barely get views on YouTube for months, even over a damn year. But then all of a sudden, I just jump up. Same month as the freaking dislike button and the, and, the, and the analytical power that it fucking has goes away. But then I, I go over to TikTok in four months, in four months time, and gave 11,000 followers. Averaging damn near half a million views a goddamn week. Damn near. You, you want to explain that to me? Make it make sense? Because the way I'm seeing it is I'm looking at people like Optimus, PewDiePie, uh, fucking Secular Talk, all those people. They know what their fans do. I've seen what their fucking fans do. I've taken the time to goddamn research. All of their fans do that same toxic shit. Not all fan bases are like that. But when it comes to following a, 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 a cult leader, a, a, a cult of fucking personality... Uh, Blue Lives Matter, racism, the alt-right, when it comes to Nazism, when it comes to ultra-conservatism, even some leftist groups, but it's very rare. But you, but you do fucking see them. You do see them. Absolutely. You do see them. But it's only certain people, certain fan bases that do that shit. Certain ones. And it's consistent. And everybody who said that fucking lies about it, all you're doing is further entrenching me, okay? Because you can't explain to me how do I go to a different platform with the same content, the same, not different content, the same exact fucking content on TikTok. And I grow by 11,000 followers in just four months. And then the very same month. The, the public dislikes and, and, the, and the fucking illegal power that it actually carries. The same month that it goes away. Suddenly, I jumped to averaging 11,000 views. When I was told by YouTube, by, by email, because I was one of the small content creators who, who actually complained wh that was mentioned in, in the goddamn video. Now, all of a sudden, when I was told that you're going to see a slight adjustment in overall views in your creator, creator dashboard. Now I see it. I've been announcing that for damn months. And every time I was called a conspiracy th th theorist, I, I was told I was, a, I, was a, I was a conspiracy th theorist when it came to the YouTube box. And then Optimus, his fucking disingenuous ass, he puts out a fucking video of, well, you know, there were YouTube bots apparently of. Uh, people can pay for, for, for fucking likes. He said that conveniently. Look at that video. If you can pay for likes, you can also pay for getting dislikes, right? Right? And if you can pay for them, that means that somebody can also do it for goddamn free, right? That is a skill that you can learn, right? That you can you can make this stuff right, but notice throughout that whole video he never said that. But I've been saying that for months and I've been right. So I'm gonna be belligerent about this because I want somebody to at least admit I was fucking right, that I wasn't just making it up. But if you're not gonna admit that, then fuck it. I'm not gonna see it your your way, and I'm gonna keep. Trying my best to make sure YouTube never brings that shit back. I'm going to watch you cry about it. I suffer. And so will you. If you like that fucking button. <laughs> but 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 be that as it may. That's just a fun fun little side for, for, for me. Cut the shit, guys. You know what the button was for. You know what people were doing to, to abuse it. So take it as a learning experience. If you have someone like me who's been saying things over time that's been consistent, and I'm showing you evidence of the evidence, and even after I show you the evidence, if you won't concede, then fuck you. Cry about it. It's gone. Your power is gone. It's not coming back. And to be honest with you, good fucking riddance.